greetings and what's up welcome to the anchored man this is Seatam Church online and we're always grateful for you being here watching our content in the last two videos we've really just been doing a reflection through the year seeing the need for us to have grateful hearts and we've seen what that means and why we should be grateful and we have seen that God can still turn around things even in the remaining few weeks or days that we have and today I just want to read you through Psalms a psalm that helps us to just reflect and look back in a way that I hope can stir up your faith to continue looking forward to an amazing thing. The psalmist writes in Psalm 124 and he says, If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, I would substitute Israel and have my name there or your name there. If the Lord had not been on your side, let call say, If the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive with their anger flared up against us. When you look back through the year, there would be moments where you'll see attack and not necessarily attack through people fighting you or beating you. Some of us went through attack in the name of or form of diseases and sicknesses. Some of us went through attack in the name of job losses. Some of us went through attack in the name of we lost business and so on and so forth. We went through those kinds of experiences that were difficult, they posed a threat on your life because that's what an attack does. It poses a threat or a challenge to your life. But look at you, you're still here. Somehow you managed to escape and God has kept you to this moment. And if lo the Lord had not been on your side, it would have been worse, like I said earlier on. It says they would have swallowed us alive with their anger flared up against us. And you know, sometimes... I feel like sometimes God saves us from so much, some of which we didn't even know. God undoes so many traps that we didn't even know. Sometimes, you know, you get home and it looks normal for you to get into a car and drive home or get into a bus and go home in one pace. And yet many, maybe you were seated actually next to a thug who had a gun, was about to rob the whole space, the whole bus, but God somehow just mysteriously kept you. You will never know. And sometimes I feel like if God allowed us to see the kind of things he has stopped, we don't know how close we were to danger. We don't know how close we were to destruction. But God in his own mercy came through for you. Things you may never know. And this is the reason why I sometimes like to just thank God for the unknown. I just thank God that I am alive because I don't know how many death traps I have avoided, you know, in the places and around the place. And verse 4 says, you know, that was an attack. And verse 4 says, the flood would have engulfed us. The torrents would have completely swept over us. Think about a flood. How much can you help yourself when a flood comes raging against you? I mean, just imagine it, that a river bursts its banks and it comes flowing with all this force. And you know, water can carry lots of force, lots of weight. Imagine this raging flood coming up against you. And many of us were through instances that, you know, this gives us a metaphoric illustration of what an attack would look like. Forceful things. You know, the other day, an earthquake just moved around Nairobi and, and that was just like a what? A magnitude five or something. And, and you should have seen the kind of anxiety that was on social media. Think about places and regions where people experience this on a daily basis. And it's not just an earthquake that moves the table a little bit, but actually leads to destruction and death. Imagine those kinds of spaces, but you're not in those kinds of environments, you're not in those kinds of areas. You sure have a reason to thank God. Floods came, things came up against us, sicknesses, diseases, mental instability, loss of jobs through the demos. Some people had their businesses burnt down completely, some people lost their stock, some people had their shops vandalized and stolen, goods were stolen and so on and so forth. Floods came. And yet here you are, God has helped you start somewhere. You've not yet picked up, but there's traction, there's movement, there's growth. You have a reason to thank God. Had it not been for the Lord, it would have been worse. When the flood, the flood would have completely engulfed you. Verse 5 talks about raging waters, waters that come with rage. You just hear a voice and you can only run, but it will sure catch up with you. Then in verse 6, he completes by saying, praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. Isn't it amazing that as hard as things have been, God somehow has just managed to keep you standing. And this is a good moment for us to look through that tiny rear view mirror and say, praise be to the Lord who allowed me to go through all those experiences and didn't allow me to be destroyed. 
it didn't allow me to be completely swallowed up. He has not let us be torn by their teeth. Verse 7, we have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. That's exciting for me, that a trap had been set for you and you are making your way into it, but somehow through God's mercies, he undid that trap and you escaped like a bird. That's why you're still free today. That's why you can sing. That's why you can tweet. That's why you can go online and share stuff because God helped you escape like a bird. And that's a good place for us to give thanks. And for sure, as it has been through the last 10 months, so will it be with the remaining two months. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Go and read Psalm 24. Interpret it your own way. Look at all those things the psalmist is talking about that came up against him. Look through your ear and write down those things that came up against you and see the miraculous way through which God intervened. And you know what? Verse 8 will become your reality. That our help is in the name of the Lord now and forever. So I dare say the same God that has kept you over the last 10 months, he'll still keep you in the remaining two months. And you'll see him do great and amazing things. This is an opportunity for us to still trust in God. Again, thanks for watching. Stay encouraged, be of good cheer. Let's finish the year on a note of thanksgiving. See you in our next video.